Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Instinct Bassin. This is Rob. Hey, we're going to do a quick video on how to create uh, waypoints at the ramp and get back to them. I had a user named uh, Chef Mixalot. Cool name, by the way. I see what you did there. He asked the question, I just got this unit and um, I don't know how to create a waypoint and then, at, you know, at the boat ramp, go fishing and then get back to it. So that's what this video is going to be all about. How to create a waypoint, how to go fishing, and then how to navigate back to that waypoint. Yep, we are in Florida. Every time I start to make a video out here on the water, I got airboats behind me trying to uh, get back up on the ramp. So yeah, it's getting loud. Um, but anyway, that's how this—that's what this video is going to be all about. Something great to use if you uh, are at a new body of water, or if you are at a big body of water like a Highland Reservoir or something, and it's uh, you know easy to get lost. Yeah. All right, so stay tuned, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, hopefully you can hear over the wind and all the airboats. Um, so I'm at the ramp. I just launched and just kind of got out of the way So I'm going to show you how to create a quick waypoint at the boat ramp You can either do that just by hitting this mark button that will create a waypoint um, The only issue with that is you won't really be able to Do much to it after that you can't really tell what's going on with it. It's a little bit um, You know not as user-friendly the way to do it So the way I like to do it is just hit the screen like that hit create waypoint and so after I've created the waypoint here, you can tell, you know, you can go into this entrance here or to this screen here, I should say, and you can edit it and then call it whatever you like. I'll clear that and I'll just call it ramp for now. And then I'll hit back till you get back to it. And then you can see that waypoint right there, here, right at the boat ramp. All right, and then we'll show you how to get back to it a little bit later on we're gonna go out and do some fishing and uh, yeah see you in just a bit so as you're going out you definitely want to make sure that your tracks are on and they should be by default but that's this um, oops that's this black and white line that's following because that's one way you can just get back to it is by following those tracks and just basically doing the reverse of what you did to uh, get to your spot All right, so I've been out fishing a while now and it's getting kind of windy, so I'm going to start heading back. Hopefully you can hear all right over the wind, but um, I came all the way to the end of this lake here. This is the stick marsh in Florida, by the way. That's where I put in at, and this is where I came to. I came all the way through there. And so now to get back there, obviously this is a small lake, so it's a little easier. And you see the wind's blowing me around a little bit. I'm trying to keep the motor off. I can just follow this track back if I want. That's certainly one way to do it. Oops, I hit the screen there. So you can just follow this track back, or you can just move the map like this and kind of go where you came from and see that. And then I can hit that. And then I can hit this navigate to button. And then you can either use go to or route to. Go to will take you straight there so you won't be able to avoid anything on the way there so that's why i like to usually use route to and that'll let you build a route like so and you can add turns in it like that that goes through what's called the cut and you're basically building the route going backwards to where you are I'm going to kind of keep it on that line where I was because there's a lot of stumps in this lake. I don't want to hit anything. And there you go. And now once you've got your route built, you just hit navigate route. And then you start following that magenta line there. See that line? The winds turned me basically 180, so that's why it's getting a little out of whack. But you just follow that line back and that's how you get back to your spot. I'm going to hit stop painting and then I'll start navigating the route here shortly. Oops.
And so one thing I also should have mentioned is that if you don't want to move the map around like that and then push on it, um, say you're in a big body of water and you don't want to zoom way out to have to do that, you can always go to menu here and then waypoints and tracks, hit waypoints, and then go find the waypoint that you that you made and you can arrange these in uh, either alphabetical or uh, by distance as well. So if I go to that one that said ramp, right there, I'll hit that and then you can sit navigate to again. Same thing, but that's just another way to get to it if you don't want to use the map to, uh, to try to find it. All right, so for some reason, the mic that I had with me out there didn't pick up this last part. So I am putting in some audio at the end of it. And I'm just gonna try to narrate through it. Um, this is us just coming back to the ramp after we did our route. Here I'm showing that magenta line that we were following and the white and black track that is also there. I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see where we're at. You also see that orange line kind of showing you where the course is and then in the bottom right it shows you the distance to your destination. And so that's basically how to create a um, quick route and how to quick or I should say how to create a waypoint at the ramp and how to create a route back to it and to kind of get back to where you started from. Something real uh, useful to know. Thanks so much Chef Mix a lot for sending that question in. Again, this is Rob from Instinct Bassin. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you out on the water.